have my lovely day, and it is my goal to make it even better, regardless of how it's gone so far. Get this game back in full speed. We're back up to 8,000 food and nearly 10,000 water, so that's good. Frame rate's still terrible. Do we have production going on over Um, I thought I'd remove that there. Okay, for a second I thought the game deleted all progress because the barrier was still there. You know what? With that barrier still there, that might be affecting why my water is so terrible. Okay. That's on. Let's send some beavers over here just to destroy this dam. I'm gonna label for demolition, and then I will send beavers over so that they all have tasks to do immediately. Barrier, send. Yeah, we'll send the full suite. Just to make sure that I don't die off in a second. Okay. One beaver came over right away and is getting the job done. Quite good. Good beaver. While I have the beavers here, I can turn this on. And have them send their planks over to the library. water if I don't send the water. So, I need to find one of the beavers. You send water. And of course it was the wrong one. Leave it, isn't that big of a deal? They'll have water in the morning. Hey, welcome back, Danger Copter. <laughs> Greeting <laughs> to you too. Okay, uh, how is the water doing over here? He's entered a drought, so we're not going to be able to tell if I just did make any difference. Uh, your voice is a tad echoey if you are aware. Yeah, I'm aware. I just don't have the energy to fix it. My goal is minimum viable product. Yeah, minimum viable product of can I actually just do this right now? I'm very small streamer. Um, I know there's lots of things I could do to improve my presentation, but I don't have the energy for it. I 
Understood. Okay. Eventually I'll fix the echo. I know it's there, but uh, too many things to do. Not enough energy to do any of them except for play a game. So I'm working on having the energy to play a game. <laughs> Last day of vacation after two weeks. I'm ready to get back. Oh, nice. Did you do anything fun during your vacation? Have they removed all of their planks from here? No, they're still working on it, but they do have water. Okay, let's actually give them food as well. Let's give them bread. Okay, that's shunt up now. Uh. Let's check all of the places. This one's zeroed out. This one's zeroed out. Okay. We still have planks way over here. That's okay. I'm just making sure we don't have any beavers. 27, that's the right number. Only six kids. Wow. Zero, 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 nine. That's dirt. That's intentional. Okay. Have these beavers done their job? Why are they not shipping? They have a route. They're super close. I wanted a power level in New World, but after about a week of that, the bugs that were reported ended up playing Satisfactory. Uh, have you played Room? I have not played RimWorld. Should I consider playing RimWorld? <laughs> RimWorld is pretty neat. Okay. I will screenshot your suggestion and add it to my Steam wish list to consider further. Uh, it is a bit of a uh, learning curve, in my opinion. That's fine with me. I'm fine with learning curves. I really want to know why these beavers are not delivering. Plank is such a ridiculous number. Eh, I'm just gonna send these beavers back to the main district. We don't need those planks compared to how much resources they're spending on just keeping them alive there. Uh, I had Rim World before it was available on Steam. Old, lol. Oh! How old is Rim World? Okay, we are down to one more row of these things. We almost have produced all the planks we need, but we can reduce production because we will catch up to it soon. Let's get the beaver shipping planks. Okay, all of these are paused. Oh golly gee, about 10 years old now, give her time. <laughs> so about the length of time it's been since I played Minecraft. 
Yeah, it's my most played game besides Finding of Isaac. Okay. That's a good review. Okay, so it was released early access in 2013, but officially released in 2018. Okay, so not 10 years old. It just feels 10 years old. down to 27,000. These aren't being produced anyway during the drought, so let's make sure all of these are set to delivering. Do we have full populations in these? Not quite, I can get more beaver shipping. I mean, it depends on how generous you're feeling. In my opinion, eight years old is within the realm of give or take. Well, I was looking more at the official release date, but yeah, rounding eight years to ten is totally fine. If you're going for the early access date. This game. My frame rate is so terrible. But I'm enjoying it with the frame rate peak. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. Regardless of my beavers being a slideshow. <laughs> it was so weird. I checked the Discord on my phone last night, and there were more pictures of your colony than I saw on my PC. Pure <sighs> derps. Yeah, I put like 20 up on the Discord. So I noticed your um, reactions stopped at a certain point. But I liked how you were doing different emojis for every single one of them. I appreciated that. <laughs> At least the ones you got to. How are things coming now? Okay, we're down to eight left before I can stick the last one in. So nine. Okay, well, I'll stop pausing lumber mills for now. I think we're good. Flame emoji seemed fitting for the library description. Yes, I appreciated you using that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay. It is eight, right? Yeah, eight. I want to watch them deliver the planks. May I ask where you came up with the name Wonder Twig? Um, elementary school? Um, one of my friend's mothers kept calling me Twiggy because I was so thin. And that friend's mother was also Hispanic, and I'm very white, like Wonder Bread, but in comparison to most of my friends. So it was derogatory toward how thin I was. And also, just a comment on exactly how white I am. I don't tan, I lobster. Yeah, 
funny too. <laughs> Things almost done. When asked, I often compare the underside of my forearms to the color of raw chicken. Yeah, I see that. But I think I'm whiter than that. How do you see that? <laughs> I mean, I can visualize it in my head. And I looked at my arm when you when I after I read your thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Planks are at nineteen. That's almost good for five. Okay, we just need to produce enough planks for three more compared to shipping them all over here. Tan is overrated. If you wanted to be tan, I'd go outside and do things. <laughs> well, when I go outside and do things, I just turn red. There was one time I went to the beach and uh we were there like 12 hours, and I don't know how much sunscreen I put on, it clearly was not enough, but I was so burnt I couldn't walk straight for two weeks. <laughs> and of course, that was the week before I went away to college for the first time, so my first time meeting all of these new people uh, I was just peeling and disgusting and not able to move. <laughs> uh. Okay, we are getting uh, blank shoved on these things. Oh heck, what people think. <laughs> yeah, I've taken more of that aspect now, but back then I had a harder time with that. Because I have conversion disorder now. Um, after my grandparents died, uh, I started twitching. Like, my arms would just flail in different directions, my neck would go weird ways. Um, if you're familiar with um, Monty Python, the Ministry of Sleewalks, I felt like the captain of that for a while because I could walk straight. Like, my feet would literally hit me in the butt regularly while I was trying to walk down the street. I took to wearing medieval gauntlets just to tire my arms out. So I was embarrassed about that for a while, and then I just started owning it, and like, this is what I have to deal with now, this is life, I can't sign my signature without throwing a pen across the room, all of those things. <laughs> um, but now I feel better about it. When I was lining up to graduate from school, uh... The people in front of me were worried, oh, what if I uh, trip and do something on stage? And I'm, I'm sitting there behind them being like, that is not a problem for me anymore. I am so used to doing that on a daily basis. <sighs> it felt good that I had progressed in my self-confidence to the point that I didn't worry about tripping on stage during graduation. Not gonna lie, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> I've never worn a medieval gauntlet. Uh, I don't know what that emoji is. Uh, do you guys want to <sighs> find the picture of it? Of my gauntlets. <sighs> I'm gonna try and get this on screen for you guys. I don't know how to... 
because the images I have of those are pretty old. Um, wait, if I, I had it on imager, I think. I only put a few things on imager, I might be able to find the picture that way. Come on. I'm trying to resave an image that I uploaded somewhere else and getting that onto my Google Drive to download onto the other computer. Edit. Uh, Okay, I've uploaded it to Google, and I get it back off of Google. <sighs> Download. Say file, it's good enough. Image. Okay. Uh, let me get chat back up and shrink this image. This was a Halloween party. That's my friend wearing my gauntlet while I twitch. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, thinking of your origin story when hearing gauntlets, my brain eventually came to the conclusion that your friend's mother must have thought Wonder Twig 9 eats food badly. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's nothing short of badass. Pardon my French. I'm okay with that word. I crop other things out. Okay, we are almost done with this. Is Why did the sound stop? Just missing the infinity stones. <laughs> I I did consider adding infinity stones to that for a Halloween costume. I still have them. I totally can still. Good. Some people get offended by quote unquote bad words. Well, words worse than that word. I will skip over when reading out comments, but. That one I let slide. Wait, you haven't finished it? I mean like fake ones, Halloween costume style. So yeah, this is mid twitch on the picture and my wrist hurt so bad hitting this thing, because half of the reason why I started wearing the gauntlets was I was hitting things so hard and so frequently that my wrist was just constantly purple. So I got those uh, wrist braces from Walmart for that carpal tunnel, and I started calling the wrist brace my gauntlet, and I was like, no, I'm going to upgrade this and buy real ones. So I would hide the wrist brace inside the gauntlet. Oh, 
course, how close did he doubt it? <laughs> but yeah, but by the time I got my arms back under control and stress back down, uh, my gauntlets were missing pieces and they were chipped and dinged and scratched. Uh, all up. You look so happy, though. It's happy and pain. I just... Where does one even procure such an item? The internet, of course. I just googled gauntlet, and it was worth like a hundred bucks. Eventually I want a full suit of armor, but I want to make it myself. Internet question mark never been there. He's in a cool place. <laughs> yeah, I've uh other things I've procured on the internet that you can't find in local stores are um rings to make custom chainmail. You guys wanna see that picture? I think I can grab that one quicker this time. I've always wanted to be a blacksmith, heck yeah, and yes, okay. Let's get the photo. That's my chainmail that I made myself. It took like a hundred hours. Years of nerdiness and repetitive cashier type motions, however, made me afraid I'll never realize that goal when I eventually procure a house. Cheapers, that's neat. Cool. Okay. Glad you guys like it. <laughs> So I often wear the two together, because why wouldn't I? Very crafty. Thank you. I'll leave this picture up for a little bit. Uh, you should do that on stream sometime if you ever end up doing base cam. You want a hundred hours of me making a shirt out of metal? Because <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> it's very tedious. I think you guys would prefer me to do origami with my feet on camera first. Because I can also do that. Okay, we just need to put one more of these things in, and then we are done with this project. Uh, I like watching beavers. <laughs> well, I was thinking where the two together, but pants might be, might be more practical as you have the shirt already. Wow, I didn't 
even no origami with one speak is possible. You're a streamer with many talents. Thank you. What project are you working on? I'm gonna have to Google that now. I haven't uploaded any video of me doing origami with my feet yet. I filmed it, but I never uploaded it. Because I felt super, super self conscious because I did it when the light was fading outside and it was a bad angle that made me look bigger than I'm used to looking. And... So I haven't uploaded that yet. I have filmed myself doing it. Um, what project are you working on? Are we talking in-game, or... Are we talking making more chainmail? Because I also bought scales to make scale mail. If I ever get my weight back down to just a fine being a twig, I can make the scale mail bikini. game. Okay. So, I've been building a library uh, for the contest that the that closed submissions earlier today. So, I'm too late to show off this whole thing. Um, properly, I uploaded images already before the contest ended, but I wanted to... I still wanted to finish my project, but I didn't have enough time to do, because two weeks wasn't enough time to finish this. So, um, let me go over to this other side of my map to better describe thoughts. Okay, so I started off making sure I had enough power for everything. So I got all of these water wheels working. Um, but they weren't fully working because the water source that I dynamited to was very piddly. So I had to get another water source. In order to do that, I... Come on, game, slideshow. There were water sources here. So I built the dam. Come on, game and filled it with fire all the way to the other water source to add it in. And what's fun about these ones is I hid a bunch of the flames of progress in the water so that only the flames would show up over the top. Um, and then while I was thinking of, well, what else can I do with these flames? I wanted to do the joke of uh, if you remember the line, you call out a knife, this is a knife. Well, you call that a campfire. This is a campfire. Um, and then I decided to make an even bigger one for this day, and just look tiny. Uh, but can you make scale mail with your feet? Hello, oh, well, JK. Um, n no. I do have good dexterity with my feet but I don't have the grip strength uh, to do that. As it is, making chain mail is very tiring and I have a bunch of palaces. Oh, did they announce a winner? Uh, they, I did not see a winner announcement. I just saw submissions are closed announcement. Twitch cat can be a bit distracting as well, I would imagine. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> nice, nice campfire. Thank you. I built another one over here in my little tropical retreat. I felt they needed one as well. I used the large water tank to make it look like I have pools. So when the, the contest started, I thought that Helix Mountain would be um, the thing that would be the topper of all the things. He looks mountains over here.
Helix Mountain is so named because of the helix that goes around it with the water. And I did up to the build height limit. Um, because of course I have to go to the camp build limit, um, put the mandatory tribute of ingenuity on it, powered it with a bunch of things, made it all spinny and overdone, but it still felt very short to me because it was already on top of this giant hill. So I decided to one-up things. Uh, oh yeah, I also built a little treehouse area amongst the ruins. The beavers preserved them, mostly. But I had to one-up myself. So I built a library. And it is actually a library. Uh, because if we go all the way down... Come on, game. Uh, I have a whole bunch of warehouses down here. And they are all set to only accept books and paper. <laughs> I heard they made this map on a dev stream. Yeah, I heard that too. I did not watch that stream. Oh, the water's still not strong enough to make it all the way around. Because I designed this to have water come in at these four angles. To a central pool in the middle of the library, underneath some platforms, and then have it uh, come out over here. I was disappointed that the um, metal platforms uh, were, um, the, the, the metal platforms cost too much money to, too much of a non-renewable resource. Okay. The metal. You can get into this thing. You can see that the buildings are on and they're in there. Uh, where am I in this? Okay, here's the center. You can see the little benches I stuck in here. Everything's accessible. It's just under a mountain of fire. Because I was going for the joke of the Library of Alexandria burning down. This is very impressive. Thank you! So, I made as much of a dome as I could, given the time constraints, but it just became more of a hexagon than anything else. But what I mostly wanted to avoid was just making a ziggurat like everybody else. One of those square-shaped pyramids. So I've got that. And over here I've got the capital, which doesn't function as the capital. Because the district center for this only has two paths. So what's being used over here is all accessed by home base. Um, so they, they have enough reach to get into all of these. Home base is the production powerhouse. So yeah, that's my base. Oh yeah, I also made a little wave out of the water pumps. I like doing that. Uh, what else do I have on here to show you that I did fun things? You know what, I want to get a shot of the beavers all in the campfire. Sitting at all the benches. Over here. 
So I need to send beavers over. Control H. There we go. I'm going to change this to providing emergency water and food. Uh, what do I have a bunch of? I have a bunch of bread. I want to make sure my beavers don't starve. Or die of thirst while I do all this. Okay, and then bread. Okay, let's send like 200 beavers over. I want to see them all in the chairs. <laughs> They're using them. They don't want to, though. Yeah, they're just standing around down here. Go sit in the chairs. It's interesting seeing which chairs they choose. Too bad they can't get the bonus of campfire from sitting in these seats. <laughs> Okay, I think we got the max attendance we were gonna get. Oh, they're all sleeping on the ground. Okay. I'll send them back to home base. I don't want them dying. Beaver pile. Okay, what other little touches did I do over here? I had to expand my ability to breed the bre beavers. Uh, lots of hungry beavers, yeah. But they should have received food now. Yeah, they're good now. I didn't keep them over there too long. Ah, so you built more beavers. Breedfers. Oh. Uh, I built homes for the beavers. Um. Uh, I gave you a follow, G2G. Ah, oh, what does G2G mean? But thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, sorry, that was the best I could do on short notice. Bye. Oh, got to go. Okay. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Unwise. Okay, I think that's the tour of this map. <laughs> oh, I found your YouTube. You now have five followers. I'm one of them. Thank you. I appreciate that as well. Okay. So I have.
built my library. What time is it? Eight. Shall I try a new game today? Because this was the last thing I had in mind to do in this game for now. And by new game, I mean Atomicrops. Oh, which game? The farming one or oxygen not included? The farming one. Do I still have pictures up on OBS showing? Oh, I still have this up. I forgot to take that down. There we go. 